Hello again. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Um, I've had a little bit of trouble with my storage card for my camera, and unfortunately I lost the booster packs that I opened for today's video. Um, not sure what happened exactly, but uh, not sure how to fix it either. So I had to put in a different storage card, and this is on a new file then. Got three boosters to open, the previous boosters that were opened included two Gia's Revenge, one foil. In fact, it's mostly black and green. We got three foil cards. All of this out of just six boosters. Not bad at all, really. Oh, my cat's upset. Hold on. All right, you can join me. Don't, do not jump on the table though. All right, but the boosters that I opened that I could not include had these four cards. Languish, Island, Thopter Spy Network, a foil island, of course. And I got my first Planeswalker flip card, Jace, Rin's Prodigy, Telepath Unbound. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, that, those boosters were lost, so I'm setting those aside. Instead, we're going to open up these three boosters for this video, starting with booster one here. And both cats are in the room. My cats are Starlight and Sunspot. They're both very, very sweet. Very, very curious. Very, very nosy. Oop. Even Battle Priest. Good. Let's see. Demolish Eye Blight Assassin. It's a battlefield target creature and opponent controls gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. It's possible that this can kill off a lot of different creatures. Three mana for 2-2. Two, two. Not too bad. Elf works in Elf Tribal, of course. Let's see. Orchard Spirit. Send to Sleep. Eh, they're not really in order at all. But I could do it like that, and that's kind of in order. Bellows Lizard. Stalwart Aven. So an 8-9. Return Centaur. No foil in this pack. Ring Warden Owl. Oddly enough, the the white creatures with flying are actually really, really good and limited. Even this one, six mana for three, three flying and gaining three life. It's not bad. Probably worthwhile to put in a deck if you know what you're looking at because there aren't very many other flying creatures to worry about. I mean, sure, the Ring Warden Owl is good, but at common level, these kind of flyers are actually really, really good. See, three toughness. This actually becomes a 2 4 once the renown hits. Let's see. Seismic Elemental. I've said before, I really like this card in Limited. Because other than the flying creatures, but normally the flying creatures, your opponent's going to swing out with them anyway. Seismic Elemental kind of stops your opponent from blocking you suddenly. And if you could give it haste, that would be a pretty good creature. Goblin Glory Chaser. Another really good card that I like. Then Anchor to the Ether. Put target creature on top of its owner's library. Scry one. Interesting. Three mana, not really a creature removal. Um, you could technically do it to yourself if you wanted to put your creature on top of your library and then scry it to the bottom to protect, perhaps to save it. Um, interesting. Not sure of many reasons why you would want to do that, but that is a possibility. And our rare card is... Ah, you have a Mac Coast. Interesting. I actually don't have very many of those cards. Planes. Uh, these originally were in Apocalypse. I believe that's the right set. Or Nemesis? Hmm. I'm not sure which one was which. No, it was Apocalypse. Apocalypse was the mask. And uh, I actually have an un unopened box of Apocalypse that I've not done anything with just kind of saved it back it from the time when I just stopped playing and I started back up in 2009 my cats are kind of roaming around all right second pack that was an interesting one I uh, didn't see much green and blue in that pack to warrant but it maybe it would come around from other packs let's see night snare target opponent reveals his or her hand you may choose an online card from it if you do, that player discards that card. If you don't, that player discards two cards. You still get to look at their hand. But four manas. 
interesting. At that point, they might only have two cards in their hand anyway. Mm, that's a possibility. Another Demolish, an Aramancer, Basswood Gorger, Artificer's Epiphany, Pricklebore, Reeve's Soul, Dreadwaters, Rocks, Maulers. 4-4, four, four, Trample for, four, or for 5, but has Renown of 2. And the way that works is, um, if it tramples over, Renown does trigger, so you'd get to keep the, you'd get to put the plus 2, plus 2 counters on it, or the 2 plus 1, plus 1 counters on it, making it 6-6, six, six, just because it trampled off of whatever block did the excess damage going to your opponent. That's pretty good. Let's see. Gideon's Tactics. Interesting card. Uh, it really works with the red cards that put out extra tokens and blue cards that might put out extra... Oh, no, no. Don't jump up here. <laughs> blue cards that put out extra tokens and green cards that put out so many fast creatures. But uh, in Limited, it's hard to get that double white out and effective every time. And the Vigilance doesn't... I mean, if it had given them first strike, if you give them indestructible... That is, I would, I would actually use that more than giving them Vigilance. Brawler's Plate, you know how I feel about that card. Fiery Conclusion. As an additional cost to cast Fiery Conclusion, sacrifice a creature. Deals 5 damage to target creature. It's not a Shrapnel Blast, but it's a thing. And it is an instant. Jame Day Tome, and another Despoiler of Souls. Interesting. Well, other than this land, we're still keeping with that, uh... That green and black theme. Green, black, and colorless. There's a Thopter token. Forest was our land card. Getting some odd cards in this combination. Oh well. Third pack. Yoked Ox. Catacomb Slug. Demolish. Caustic Caterpillar. Aspiring Aeronaut. Suppression Bonds. Interesting card. Enchant Non-Land Permanent. This can actually lock down a Planeswalker card which is what makes it so interesting to me, because it's non-land permanent. You could put it on an artifact, you could put it on a creature, you could put it on a token if you wanted to. As long as it's not a land, you can enchant it, and then it can't use an activated ability, and it can't attack or block. So you could put this on a Gideon, yeah, Planeswalker card, it wouldn't be able to attack or block or use any activated abilities. This stops direct... Uh, no, no, don't, don't jump up here. What did I just say? <laughs> okay, I've got to... Uh, <sighs> Making his YouTube debut. Well, actually, he's been on YouTube before. This is my cat, Sunspot. <sighs> Veteran Sidearm. <laughs> Titan Strength. I was so surprised that this was reprinted. Okay, okay. You want to you jump down? All right. Oops. <sighs> <laughs> Read the Bones, another good card. Calculated Dismissal, you've heard how I felt about that. I mean, it's still a scry trigger if you've got the extra cards in your graveyard. Something to do on your opponent's turn when they cast. Meteorite, fun card that was reprinted. Five mana for two damage to target creature or player, and then it also taps for mana. <laughs> One mana of any color. I think that's a really fun card, great flavor text. And if I'm lying, he began, or as so the phrase goes, and if I'm lying, may I be struck dead on the spot. Somberwald Alpha. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. That includes itself, making it essentially a 4-3 whenever it's blocked. And target creature you control gains trampled until end of turn for one and one green. 3-2 for four? Not too bad. Being able to give any creatures trampled with the activated ability? Also not too bad. Uh, obviously, you have to have good targets for it. But this is in Limited, where you might have... Uh, the renowned giant card. You might have a lot of titans that can pump them up. So it might be worthwhile. Next card. Jessen Thief. 1 3 Prowess for 3. Whenever it deals combat damage, you play a draw a card. I think this is the fourth card of this type where it uh, deals combat damage to player and you get to draw a card. For 3 mana for 1 3. Although Ophidian doesn't technically deal damage. Then there's the Merfolk that does it. Then there's the. There's the uh, other the uh, human rogue that does it. And then there's also a creature from uh, Abyssin Restored that allows you to soul bond to get two creatures that essentially do it. And our rare card is Willbreaker. 
Five mana for two, three. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes the target of a spell or ability you control, gain control of that creature for as long as you control Will Breaker. This works very, very well in blue green where you can get lots of mana and lots of targeting effects. What are you doing? <laughs> it also works with the uh, hexproof creature that allows all of your creatures to have hexproof, but your opponent's creatures can't have hexproof. That ability is, is very interesting to me. Two, three for five. But just being able to suddenly target something your opponent controls and gain control of it. See, even if they try to lightning bolt your creature, there's so many creature pump effects that you can just suddenly grab from your opponent. Um, stop that. Don't. Ah, sorry about that. My cats are... I need to trim their claws because they're starting to sharpen their claws on the carpeting. Anyway, this combines with a lot of different effects, and uh, it's an interesting, interesting card. Bull Breaker. Yeah. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes a target spell or ability you control, gain control of that creature for as long as you control. Bull Breaker works with land effects, works with any type of uh, spell or ability. Um, you can target it with something to untap it, target it with something that, um, well, you could even target it with something that allows it to, that would return it to the controller's, to the owner's hand. And you would briefly gain control of it if you have some kind of a sacrifice effect like uh, Altar of Dementia. I know I pick that card a lot. Uh, this also possibly could gain control of Planeswalkers um, before they become Planeswalkers. The, the transforming ones, for example. Yeah. Alright, well, before my cats tear up all of my carpeting in here, I better go ahead and call the video at this. Yeah, I know. Don't jump back up here. You're fine. Anyway, sorry about missing the previous video. Oh, I got an emblem from Chandra. That's cool. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was informative. And again, I hope you're having a wonderful morning, wonderful afternoon, or wonderful evening. And I hope tomorrow is even better. Take care, everyone.